Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's lesson is Module 10, Project Part 1. The learning objectives for today's lesson are Number 1. Identify the concept and elements of making a biography. Number 2. Analyze the elements of a biography through reading. And finally, number 3 to locate details to find four pieces of information through reading. As you all know by now, we should be ready with our materials, right? So I'd like for you guys to have your student's book open on page 121 and to have the workbook open on page 105. All right, let's get started. Before we start with explaining our lesson today, we need to remember the theme of this module. Do you remember? That's right. It's about the world around us. That's right. And through this title, we learn that we are learning a lot about places, things, uh, new information, and especially about people. And from learning about these people in the world, we get inspired by them to change, to become better. And through that, you see that it's not just restricted to one type of famous people. They could be everywhere. They could be inspiring in all walks of life. In order to learn more about these influential people, these people who inspired us, we need to know what is a biography exactly, right? So. The definition of a biography, or simply a bio, is a detailed description of a person's life. It involves more than just the basic facts like education, work, relationships, and death. It portrays a person's experience of these life events. So it's not just facts, it's much, much more than that. It's why it has inspired you. All right, so this brings us to this basic question here. What do I need to know to create a biography about someone? Well, let's see together and join that with examples to help us understand more the steps. The first step is to choose the famous character. So let's choose together the ultimate role model of everyone. Who is he? That's right. It's the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, right? And then we need to add more information and more details to finish up our biography, right? So next we need to learn what was he famous for? Of course, he was famous for spreading the message of Islam, right? And then what we need to add, we need to know when was he born. Okay, so we need to, if you don't know these information, you need to Google them, right? So he was born in 571 after Christ, the year of the elephant, right? Then what do we need to know? Right, we need to summarize his life story. And we need to know more about his childhood, his morals, his receiving the message of Allah, and his struggles as well, and sum it up in a few lines. Then we need to know what are his achievements, what are the things he achieved, the big accomplishments. Well, obviously, he united the Arab tribes he spread Islam to the world and he promoted good morals and much, much more, right? Finally, we need to answer when did he die? And if you've chosen a character that is still living, you need to tell us how has he affected you as a person? And to answer that, he died in 632 after Christ and the thing that affected all of us is wanting to be 
a better person, right? Now let's practice and check our understanding. Let's move to the student's book page 121, exercise number one. As you can see from the picture and the title, this is about Khalfan Ibrahim Khalfan. So let's read the head of the question. Below is a biography Khalid has written about his favorite athlete. Let's read together and find out at which club did Khalid's favorite athlete begin playing professionally? And how old was the footballer when he moved to a Arabi sports club again? I need from you guys to pause the video for a little bit, read thoroughly, and then find the answer. All right, let's see. So he started playing professionally for Al Said. And for the next question, he was 29 years old when he moved to Al Arabi sports club again. Very good, everyone. So now we have a general idea about the whole text. Let's do some analysis and find out more about the elements of this biography. Let's follow the same questions and elements that we did with the model of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So what is the famous character did he choose? That's right, Khalfan Ibrahim Khalfan. And what was he famous for? Right again, he plays for Al Arabi and the Qatari national team. In 2006, he won the Asian Player of the Year award. He was the first Qatari footballer to win this award. When was he born? Khalfan Ibrahim Khalfan was born in Doha, Qatar on the 18th of February, 1988. And let's summarize his life story. His father was a famous footballer and Khalfan has followed his father's footsteps. He began his football career as a youth player for Al Arabi Sports Club. In 2004, he started playing professionally for Al Said. As you can see, this is a quick sum, sum up for his life. Well, what about his achievements? Well, that's a lot. He scored eight goals in El Sad's first six games. In 2011, Khalfan and his team, El Sad, won the AFC Championships League, a great achievement for any footballer. In July 2017, at the age of 29, Khalfan moved to Al Arabi Sports Club. Let's see the final part of our biography. How has he affected you? Well, according to Khaled, he has shown me that with hard work, anything is possible. How about we move now to a different biography and find, locate the details and information and elements of this biography to help us prepare for our own writing for the next lesson. Let's move to the workbook, page 105, exercise number one. We have here the biography of Venus Williams, and we are needed to read this biography and then answer the questions, as you can see on the right. We have four questions here. Number one, what is Venus Williams famous for? Number two, where was Venus Williams born? And number three, how did you learn to play tennis? And number four, what has she done lately? As you can see here, these four questions kind of remind us of the elements of writing a biography, right? So. When you read and answer these questions, put that in mind while preparing your own biography in the coming lesson. Now let's remember together, how do we answer these types of questions? If you look at the first question as an example, you'll see that the question says, what is Venus Williams famous for? 
So we need to go to the text, read it thoroughly, and then find out this specific piece of information. And as you can see here, it's pretty clear and obvious, and it's also the second element of the project of writing a biography. All right, so I need for you guys to pause the video one more time, read the text carefully, and then read the questions again, find the keywords of each question, and then go back to the text to locate this specific keyword or piece of information and answer it on your own. And finally, come back to check with me. Okay, let's see if we were able to locate the elements of this biography correctly. So the first question was, what is Venus Williams famous for? Well, she is a famous tennis player. She is the first African-American woman to become the number one tennis player in the world. Wow, that's impressive. And question two, where was Venus Williams born? You see the elements, right? She was born in California, USA. Nice. Number three, how did she learn to play tennis? Well, her father told her how to play tennis. And finally, question four, what has she done lately? Well, she has opened her own business and she designs clothes and furniture. Well, this is pretty impressive. I'm glad we found out about her, right? Well, if you did all questions correctly, then that's great. I am super proud of you. And now I feel that you guys have understood completely what are the elements of writing a biography. By this, we reach the end of today's lesson. I hope this was um, informative and beneficial for you all. You got new information about three famous people with three different fields and three different places in the world. I hope this was informative and I hope you guys do your best to choose your own famous character in the coming lesson and follow these elements and these steps of writing the biography and be careful with using the adjectives and the punctuation, the spelling, the correct tense. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you all next time. Bye.